Well, hello! This is you, Abigail, and I'd like to welcome you to our fourth episode of Blue Horizons, running Sky Factory 2.5. And uh, you can see I've got a couple of dogs that spawn back there, a couple of wolves, and I, uh, due to the mob farm that we had set up, I actually had some bones on me and was able to tame them. And I brought them back here just so that this way they wouldn't fall off the edge. Also, we pretty well filled this up, so I went ahead and stopped this. Uh, we're going to be probably pulling this out today. We've got a lot of things, a lot of small projects I want to do. Uh, since we have the mob system installed, and yeah, this is uh, actually draining water out of here to convert this to mossy, or mossy stone, so that's an interesting little feature. But uh, anyway, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, I know I have them, I know I have them. Where are they, where are they? Did I put them in here? Ah, yes, here they are. These, right here, yes. Another quartz. We need those to make the drawer controller. So that's going to be our first project. We are going to make that right now. And there we have it. And we will go ahead and place this down right here on this edge. Next project. I will, we'll hook this up later. Uh, our next project, we need to make a pulverizer immediately. Reason being, uh, we've got some leather tunics that I want to turn back into leather. So, yeah, that'll be the next one. And now we have that. So we'll go ahead and grab these. And just for now, we're going to attach that right there. And as soon as power gets high enough, there it goes. And now the reason we need these is so that we can start making those conveyor belts. And I want to use the immersive engineering ones. So they require some iron and three leather each. So this should get us, what, uh, 7, 14, 8, 16, 16. So that'll get us uh, 40. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some of this going. We'll have to smelt up some more iron. I'm pretty much out of pre-smelted. Be right back. Turns out I'll have to wait on the uh, sifters for any more iron, so... Let's go ahead and do what we can right now. And 24. I do not know if that's enough. So let's head on down there to the mob grinder and find out. Alrighty, as you can see, I've started installing the windows so we can peek in at uh, the mobs as they fall. And I went ahead and built this platform. And right there is where the item drops stop. So, if I am correct, yes, perfect. So, I'll go ahead and get that set up. Let me turn this off real quick. And, we'll go ahead and extend this cobblestone we may eventually replace this with something else but for now see we want to take it uh, over there somewhere so we'll go ahead and lay down a bunch of uh, this here and I am not sure if this moves players or not, so eh, maybe this is far enough. We'll take it off this way now. And there we are. So let's find out if this moves players. Yes, it does. So
we'll just go ahead and place them like this and hopefully not fall off the edge we've only got three left and that is not going the right way Is there any way to switch those around? And again, not going the right way. Ah, there we go. And I am going to play it safe. Okay, yes, we need to make a couple more, so I'll go take care of that, and I'll be back with you in a minute. And here come the items. See whether they make it around the corner. Yes, they do. And dropped off right there. Excellent. I may have to put a glass backing on it, just to prevent items from uh, wanting to fall off glitching out like that, but this is pretty much done for now. On to the next project. And here is our next project. we got to take all this dirt and we're not making any more right now. We'll have to fix that later. And we got to run this dirt all the way down over there to that other platform because that's where our farming area is going to be. So I'll meet you there. And here we are. Go ahead and use up this wand. Oops. Lovely. And that is that. Check to see where spawn can happen. Light this up real quick. And I'll go ahead and place these down and be back with you in a bit. And there we have it. This entire area has been filled in uh, as far as the amount of dirt that I had. So we'll just let this grass grow, and then uh, animals can start spawning. And we'll just have to remember that uh, below here there is no cobblestone, so we'll have to make sure no creepers come along, and make sure we don't, you know, dig the blocks out because there's nothing below. Anyway, on to the next project. Even in the rain, this looks pretty cool. I'll have to add some more glass on the other side over here. Maybe I'll use some of the Ender IO clear glass and eventually replace all of this glass as well. But uh, yeah, for now this will work. Alrighty, our next task is going to be to try to clean this up and compact this and get rid of this uh, circuit back here. And uh, we'll need to make a transfer node and such, so we'll go ahead and get working on that. Let's see, for this node need to make a transfer pipe and we can use the aluminum ingots for this and we need a redstone a couple of glass and we got our transfer pipes now to make the node we'll need two stone a chest the transfer pipe because we only need one transfer node so We'll make the redstone block, and we'll need to make a chest. Oops, over here. And we need two stone. And 
Now we have our transfer node. Now we'll have to eventually make a world interaction upgrade, and that's going to require some iron, which uh, we do not have at the current time, although this has been running for a little while. And we've got enough to make four iron ingots, so we could actually make the pick. Uh, maybe more once we uh, use the hammer on the gravel, but yeah. Anyway, let's see what we can do about this here. First thing we need to do is we need to remove this. And we'll just go ahead and set that down over here somewhere for now. And just to be on the safe side, we're going to store that stuff. And actually, we need the glass, because I'm going to try to make this framed in glass so we can see everything going on. <clears throat> so. And this side. And for the water, we'll, we'll just remove the water and make sure that uh, we don't turn our lava to obsidian. See if i got a bucket anywhere. Sure I do. Uh, not there. Not there. Not there. And apparently not there either. Hmm. I must have took it down the other area. All right. Well... We will. Uh, we'll just see what we can do here. If we can do this fast enough. Excellent. So, yeah. And. Perfect. Alright. Now, we need to go ahead and stop this. put all of this away. We'll just put it over here for now. Because we need to do that. And we can now take this out. need this dirt here. We just need to... Oops. Placed one too many. Oh well. Gone. And we'll need to do one here. Alright. Excellent. So I'll go ahead and clean the rest of this up and I'll be back with you in a minute. And 10 ingots worth of iron. It'll be enough to make one world interaction upgrade. And actually, I've got five already smelted up. And here we go. Now we just need to make a barrel. So we'll need, oops, we'll need a whole stack just to work with. And we'll need to make a chest. Go ahead and use that one. And some slabs. So we should be ready to go with this. Let's go see if this works. So we'll put the transfer node right here. Add our world interaction upgrade, excellent, and throw that there, perfect. And we now have our cobble. Nice. Alrighty, our next task, we are going to start farming. So we're going to start with 
these guys here. And we'll need eight seeds. Do I have enough here? Yes, I do. Throw those back there, and we will need to make a hoe, which we'll need a little bit of cobble for. Alrighty, and I'll run out there real quick and get this going. And there we have it. They will start growing, albeit slowly, for now. That will change later. Time to decide what to do next. Alrighty, I decided our next task is going to be to make a or to make an alloy smelter. So I've got not enough uh, ingots on me currently to do the machine chassis. So we gotta wait because I'm not gonna smelt just seven. See what we got going on in here. Wait for him to get one more. Come on, come on, come on. We are waiting. There we go. Place those down. Alrighty, we got enough for the machine chassis. Actually, yeah, they're here, there, and there. Alright, excellent. As soon as the rest of that smelts up, we'll be able to make the cauldron. And then we'll just need four more ingots, and I believe three furnaces, and then we are done. This thing's doing pretty good so far, generating it faster than we're using it currently. And that's just with one world interaction upgrade. Ah, this is lovely. I'll have to test later whether uh, these have to be on top of blocks or if they can be placed mid-air because I, what I would like to do is remove these blocks from underneath or maybe place it on glass or whatever. But for now this will work. Alrighty, the last major task that I want to work on today is building a basic capacitor bank. So let's see if we have enough gold. Uh, broken gold ore. Yes, we do. Excellent. Okay, I'll go ahead and get started on this. Alrighty, I believe I have just about everything I need to craft this. So we need four basic capacitors. We'll need a block of redstone. And four iron. Got our basic capacitor bank. Excellent. So, for now, we'll go ahead and throw it right on top of this. Oh, not in front of it, on top of it. Try that again. There we go. So we'll let that charge up. And the reason we're building this is because I want to start uh, working on a jetpack. So this way I can start getting down below here. And uh, like where we've got all that uh, dirt placed way out there. So that this way uh, I can put some cobblestone up underneath of it. 
and not have to worry so much about uh, if the dirt gets destroyed somehow falling through and losing it. So anyway, I know today was kind of a you know a all over the place kind of episode, but we did get quite a bit done today, as you can tell. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, this is you, Abigail, saying, have a great day.